Many friends are asking how to clean up or speed up their Mac, and today I'll show you a very simple but effective way to do that with Dock Cleaner. If you search Dock Cleaner in the Mac App Store, it will be very easy for you to download it and install it on your Mac. We can open Dock Cleaner from your launch pad. Let's quickly skip the wizard part and move to the drop down window of this app. Normally, we wish our Mac to be with plenty of available memory and free of system trash. And this is basically what Dock Cleaner do. First thing to do is to con confirm the home folder for this app, which will allow it to scan the uh, scan our disk. We can see two sections in this window. The upper part is the memory section and the lower part is the disk section. Then we can take a look at the current memory usage. Just click the info button and we will know how the memory is allocated. At the bottom of the memory column, there is a list of apps that are using significant memory. Dock Cleaner will automatically release memory and speed up your Mac after you quit some memory consuming apps. However, if you wish to do it yourself, you can quit the app on the list or just click the optimize button. Wait for a second and it's done. You can see the percentage of the memory usage or the amount of memory used here. Down there is the disk column. The blue line indicates the disk usage of a Mac. Move your mouse there and the use in free space will pop up. In this column, we can do quick disk clean and perform deep disk clean. To use Quick Clean, just click the Quick Clean button. To use Deep Disk Clean function, we can click here and a new window will pop up. In this window, we can search for junk files that may not be needed by the system. The junk files may include the files in our trash can, the uh, browser cages, iTunes temporary files, mail cages, application logs, application cages, and uninstalled application leftovers. Simply a Mac that has not been cleaned ever will have uh, all of them in their system. So it is very big project to clean. And for example, we choose to empty the trash can we can click clean here and it's very quick. The last way to slim down your Mac may be finding out and deleting big size files that are neglected somewhere on the disk or no longer needed. Enter the big file page and set your filters for big files. Dock Cleaner will locate all the files that meet the standard. Like other features, you can choose to put them in trash or permanently delete them. Or sometimes you want to protect some files from some big files from deletion, you can put it to the protected files list by clicking the lock here. And it's gone to the protected files list. After doing all the things told above, you can again enjoy your fast and productive map.